Tom, there's a lot of people out there that don't understand what a VFD even does for them. So can you kind of take some time and explain to us what a VFD yeah, does? I mean, you pay money for it, and so it's a little bit more to add to your system, but they do give you a lot of benefit. Um, the main benefit, of course, is varying the speed of an AC induction motor. Okay. I mean, that's what they're for. And it also, at the same time, will give you direction control without having to swap wires. Ah, okay. I mean, you know, to make this turn the other way, you, have you to just... Put reversing contact well, either that, that or, yeah. you, you know, you just wire sure. the two of the phases and you swap them, right? But this will, this can give it to you just at a you know, drop of a hat. It can just handle it. Push a button. Oh, at push a button, absolutely. Another thing you can do with this is it's, it's kind of a... It has start... Uh, soft starting functions okay. in it. You can um, control the ramping of how oh, so you're you bring the motor up to speed slowly, not Absolutely. just in the cross line starter oh, that pops yeah. it. Okay. Absolutely. And of course, stopping the same way. You can stop quickly too with dynamic braking and things like that. Energy savings. Boy, it's really, really kind of nice because, you know, with this, you're just if you have a load, it's going to have, uh, and you're running a fan, for instance, you're going to have a load on there that's constant and maybe, you know, the fan. Does it doesn't doesn't really need it, and you're just wasting energy. Okay. You can put this in what we call a variable torque mode, and it will save you energy. Electri electrical yeah, savings. Yeah, electric absolutely. Okay. It's really good. And also, like we discussed, it can eliminate some mechanical transmission parts. So well, That's a big one. Well, it's because we control the speed, and a mechanical transmission is for varying speed or maybe gaining some torque, but mainly the speed. And also there's a variety of different ways you can control the speed. So you're quite versatile. Of course, there's this, you know, pod on the front that you can turn and do it, but there's many other ways. You can mount a pod elsewhere, plus or minus 10 volts, encoder following, all sorts of ways. So you can actually probably send it messages over some kind of communication link? Communication link as well, absolutely. So you can daisy chain them and have like, say, 15 drives on one link and say, drive one, do this, drive two, do that. Yes, sir. Run a lot less wires, a lot less conduits. Absolutely. Okay. So those are the main reasons why you do it, and it's uh, it's really quite nice. It's very versatile. Absolutely. Okay, sounds good. So now you have some ideas of why you want to apply them and what they're used for. Let's go on and look at the how we actually apply them to a motor. 